Let's talk shoe trends, shall we? <laughs> I really love these fall 2021 shoe trends. I just feel like they're really fresh. They're what we need. They're different. They're je ne sais quoi. You didn't know I could speak French, did you? I really like most all of these, but I'm gonna save my favorite two for last. <laughs> one of them is very wearable. Well, I think it's wearable anyway. You might not think so. The other one is not wearable at all. I love it. It's definitely one of my favorites. It's not wearable, but I do really like it. So you'll have to tell me what you think at the end. Okay, I'm gonna get this first one out of the way because it's not my favorite, but it is a really big trend. It's actually been kind of a trend for a while, but I just feel like it's really big this fall. And that is lug sole or thick platform shoes. Not to be confused with platform heels, which have kind of had their moment and they've kind of not on trend anymore, but platform loafers and oxfords and platform boots. Those are quite a big trend right now. They were big on the runways. They're, you know, they're in stores if you want to buy them. And I do like them. I like them on other people and I think they look really great. It's just that I have really big feet. They do not need to be walking on platforms or anything that accentuates how big they are. They just don't. The lug sole, the big platform heel on boots and loafers is a really big thing right now. If you are into that, there's a lot of really fun ones to play around with. By the way, I had such a good time going shopping <laughs> for these trends and just looking and seeing what's out there. And so I have linked my favorites down below in the description. So anything I featured in this video on the screen will be linked down below if you wanna check it out. Okay, this one I did not see coming, and I also did not see coming that I would really like it. And that is cowboy boots. I feel like some magazine or something somewhere is gonna call it Western wear, but it's not really Western wear that's on trend, it's cowboy boots. What's another word for cowboy boots? Western boots? I feel like there's another word I'm missing. In any case, cowboy boots are kind of on trend right now. I really like this and I love it put with a dress and something really girly. I just feel like that's a really fun look. Another shoe trend I personally really love are these slouchy leather boots. So I saw these on the runway and I've seen them, you know, in real life and they, I just think they're so beautiful. I just feel like they're so fun and interesting. For some reason, I just love this look and I loved it so much. I was like, oh my gosh, I, I have to get me a pair of these boots. These are so amazing. And then I remembered that I have a pair of suede slouchy boots. I have a pair of suede nude boots, which I was obsessed with last year. I still love these boots. I will still be wearing them. So I guess I get my like slouchy boot fix in those. I don't need to go and buy any more. Will I go and buy some more? I don't know. I've mentioned this in another video, but clogs have been on trend for a while and they are still trending for fall. They're actually very much trending. And I've been saying that I really don't like clogs. I think I've said that in my other videos that I've talked about them. I just don't like them. I don't feel like they'd fit my feet, but I found some clogs and I actually think they're cute. I would totally wear those. So I'm not really sure if I found some that I'm really into or if I've just been seeing clogs so much that now I'm starting to like them. You know how when you hear a song on the radio and you're like, oh, this is terrible, but then you keep hearing it over and over again and eventually you're, you own the whole CD and you bought the album and you have concert tickets. <laughs> Maybe that's what happened to me with clogs. I'm not sure. In any case, I will link these that I really like below. Um, and I think some of these clogs are pretty cute. I'm not sure if these are technically clogs, but the slides that look like clogs but are flat, those are kind of on trend as well. And I feel like, I feel like we're gonna see people wearing with socks. If you like that, you go ahead and do that. I personally am not gonna wear socks with slides. I don't, I don't, I just can't. I, I just can't do it. But on other people, it looks great. Some people really know how to style socks with sandals and socks with slides, and I'm like, you're amazing. Going in a totally different direction, another trend that I really like, and it's not really new, but retro sneakers have been on trend for a while, and they are still, and very big, on trend, and I love this. I just think it looks so cute. The Converse, the retro-looking, sneakers. I ordered a pair of New Balance that look a little retro. If they're in before this video post, I will show myself wearing them and you'll have to see what you think. Hopefully they don't look gargantuan on my feet. <laughs> it's a size 10. Sometimes I wear a size 11 in running shoes because my feet swell when I run. I've even had to buy an 11 and a half before. How many people do you know that wear a size 11 and a half running shoe? I mean, really? 
not sure if you would consider this a trend that's happening right now because animal print is always around at different levels at different times. For a while we were saturated in leopard print and I feel like that kind of died down. Leopard print is not going away but it's just not like crazy big. And then snake print got really big and I have mentioned in another video <laughs> called trends that look cheap. I feel like like a shiny pleather snakeskin top I'm just not into. I don't think I don't like the way that looks. However, I do love me some snake boots, okay? Snake boots are nice, but what I really like, like really, 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 and I'm saying all this to say crocodile boots, not made of actual crocodile, of course, but that look is just so classy, I feel like, in my personal opinion. Some people might think it looks trashy and cheap. I love it. But the crocodile print was seen on the runways. I feel like it's been kind of, you know, picked up here and there. So I don't really think that like a, a crocodile boot is going to go out of style. And the reason why is because it's so subtle. It's like basically a leather boot with a little bit of a pattern. So I just, I really, really loved it. I just Okay, so let's get to my two favorite of the shoe trends for fall 2021. So on the runway, and honestly, I don't know how much this will trickle down into mainstream stores or if this will really be picked up by the masses, but it might be picked up by me. And it was on the runway, and that is colorful boots. There were lots of colorful boots on the runway, and I am obsessed with it. I want to eat it. I like it so much. I think the reason why I like colorful boots so much and just colorful shoes is because you can put them with a classic outfit and then you put these colorful boots and it just looks so new and fresh and stylish. The other trend that's my favorite. <laughs> so one of the trends for fall is shiny glittery disco ball type clothing and attire. And I'm specifically thinking of Victoria Beckham boots that are silvery, glittery, shiny, just fabulousness. If I were a drag queen, I'm not, but if I were, I would 100% be getting these boots. If I had my own show in Las Vegas, I don't, in case you're wondering, but if I did and I was like a dancer or I did some kind of performance art, I was in Cirque du Soleil and I don't know what I would be doing, but I would buy these boots for sure. They would be my thing I'd be wearing. I think they are so amazing. Now, like I said before, they're not wearable. I don't know where you'd wear them to. I literally think of Las Vegas in my show that I'm going to have. I don't know what I'll be doing. And then honestly, if I still lived in New York and I did fun and interesting things that I did when I lived there, I may actually buy these and wear them because they're really, really amazing. But alas, I am none of these things. I am currently at home with my infant child, so I think it would be strange if I bought them and wore them at this point in my life. But if you have a Las Vegas show, you live in New York, or you know what? If you live in Georgia and you like to wear shiny things on Tuesday, you should buy these. You really should. I'm linking them below. You just do it and then you send me a picture because I'm not gonna be your biggest fan. So what did you think about these shoe trends? These are not the only shoe trends that are happening. They're just the ones that I picked out that I felt like were either big or I just really liked. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about these trends. And um, I do have a denim trends video coming up, hopefully very soon. Depends on how much editing I can do with an infant child. And um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down, let me know. And hit subscribe if you haven't already and get the notifications by hitting the notification bell. Woo, that's a lot for an advertisement for my channel. Okay, we all set now. In any case, thank you for stopping by and I will see you next time.